Hello there, ladies, gentlemen and unicorns. Welcome to another episode of Phil Plays LD41 Games. This time I'm taking matters in my own hands in regards of the audio. I don't rely on the Windows driver that much anymore. And so I'm recording this now with two microphones. One that goes directly into my computer, into the sound card. And the other one is my uh, filming microphone, which goes directly into my external recorder. So, I mean, this is quite ridiculous, but I hope uh, the audio troubles uh, from last time are at an end. You also might ask what kind of strange drink am I going to uh, drink this time? And it is this one here. It is dry bitter tonic water from J. Gasco, legendary Italian drinks. And look, it's a guy who's a cock, Co quite literally. So this is going to be fun. And I kick this off ah, with some more games from my new patrons. Yes, that's right. Since the last video, I've gotten a couple of new patrons and also they posted their games. So again, they get the special treatment of me showcasing their games first. So cheers to that and on to the first game. The first game we're going to look at today is from Jordan Simmons. And he just writes, or she, who knows? Hey Phil, I'd love it if you played our game. I said, already love the title and let's have a look at Seaman Sleuth. <laughs> Starts off really good. Metroid Prime 4, Seaman Sleuth. I really like the pixels. This is, this is some very quality um, um, title card. I like it already. Okay, description. Unravel the most enthralling murder mystery of the century in this groundbreaking and unofficial prequel chapter to the upcoming Metroid Prime 4. Seaman Sleuth masterfully, asterisk, citation needed, <laughs> intertwines the Metroidvania genre that you all know and love with a satisfying logical reasoning action of detective games as you. Seaman Elmo, seek justice against you, Captain's murderer. Okay, so it's a murder mystery and it looks like some old school 16-bit, uh, early 16-bit games on the Sega Genesis. Note, nothing happens when your health bar reaches zero. There is no lose state in Seaman Sleuth, because if you are playing Seaman Sleuth, you are already <laughs> losing. <laughs> oh my god. The controller is recommended to play this game. Um, where is mine? Shit. A controller is recommended, yeah, to play this game. Hold shift, left mouse button with space A or LB, left stick with space A to skip dialogue. Okay. Shift, left mouse button and space or A. Okay, shift space. Turn off ad block in the HTML5 version. If the HTML5 version doesn't run in your browser, please use one of the downloads version. Windows version is a single 6 megabyte XF file. Genres, Metroidvania Detective. Good, this is interesting. Git commits 35 lines of code around 1,400. And bugs, yes, yes, of course. All right, I've downloaded the exe file, so let's start. Seaman Sleuth. And here we go, we're already at the game. And it reads, Dearest Jane, It has been too long since I last wrote you. A funny event happened on our voyage to Cuba. I got scurvy. The ship's Dr. Willis says it, it's occurred as a result of my dis distaste of the fruit on this vessel. I wouldn't say that. The vessel has nothing to do with it. I just hate fruit. So they've resorted to locking me away in my cabin. Can you believe it? The first mate on the HMS Friday isolated from his own crew. Alas! My only joys these past months have been my Arthur Conan Doyle novels. Oh, well, elementary. Oh, Jane, how I wish I could express my newfound love for the characters of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. When I get back to London... Oh, I should have read this all in a very, very uh, <laughs> poor uh, British accent. When I get back to London, I think I will begin my life anew, following my dreams to become a detective. Willis tells me I'm going crazy. I prefer the words extremely enthusiastic. Okay, so, so here we are. The door is open. Elmo, thank God! 
Quickly, there's no time to waste. Follow me on the deck. Use the left stick or arrow keys to walk. We can do this. Can we jump? Oh, look at this. This is some very nice uh, light source occlusion. I've always wanted this in my games. Never came around of doing it. So there's a very nice dithered sunset. So cheers to that. Mm. Oh, so good. The captain's dead. No one knows how long he's been out here for. All we know is he's with God now. In a figurative sense, yes. Literally, though, he's lying there five meters away from us in a pool of his own excrement. <laughs> That's disgusting. How dare you mock him, Elmo? Our captain was a great man. Subtle Archie, he may be dead, but we aren't. And whether we like it or not, Elmo is the first mate, making him in charge now. Look at the sky for a second. It's beautiful. It's a bad omen, like bananas, Fridays and whistling. <laughs> I'm going to have to look into this. Step aside, so I may examine the body. I'm totally messing up all the character voices, so I'm, I'm sorry they all sound vaguely and poorly British. Okay, so we can't jump, but again, why can't we jump? Can Maybe this is why it says uh, gamepad <laughs> um, recommended. Again, I like the light occlusion here with this little shadow here. This is very cute. Okay, so how can I... Oh, okay, so I'm doing this now here with these crosshairs. This is nice. Um, now I understand why you said controller support. I mean, it would have been nice using uh, just my mouse, but it's okay. I can deal with that. Also, by the way, this is some very nice drawing. It really, uh, really looks, looks, uh, yeah, very stylish, but but still uh, uh, concrete enough to know what's going on. So let's look at this pool of blood. Hmm, this doesn't taste like a cosmopolitan. <laughs> In fact. It tastes more like semen. <laughs> Very fine. Dead semen. Jonah, it is with great displeasure that I must inform you our captain has been murdered. By whom? Or by whom? I don't know that yet. I mean, I just looked at him then, Jonah. But whoever they are, I'll find them. My god, Elmo, you're a sailor, not a detective. Jonah, this may sound odd, but I feel as if I were chosen this exact moment. We'll figure this out. It's our duty to. Let's catch this bastard. Okay, so let's catch the bastard. Looks like there are four shadowy figures. What in God's name is that thing? It's a plasma rifle. Isn't that right, Louis? <laughs> wow, okay. So we're sci-fi punk, plasma punk. That's new. Cheers to, to plasma punk. Indeed! <laughs> Is that a rat? <laughs> this may be of some use. Plasma rifle added to evidence list. Okay, so there's a plasma rifle. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> we can still hear you when you mumble, you know? I'm off to investigate the captain's cabin. Make sure the crew remains orderly while I'm gone. Fair enough. Okay, so... This, this place, it's swarming with wild demons. Thank Hades, I have this. Plasma rifle equipped. Okay. <laughs> uh, I recall this music. So here we are in Super Metroid uh, on the NES, uh, Super Nintendo, right? Jump A and Z. Oh god, okay. Doesn't... I'm... Okay, again. The C is on my German style keyboard, on my German keyboard layout, right wedged between the T and the U. So... This won't quite work. Oh good, but I can, can move with the arrow keys also. And shoot with X. Sorry, my mouse pointer is in the way. Take a lot of bullets here. What are those little crepos? <laughs> I call them crepos. I also like the jumping, reminds me 
very much of Samus Aaron. Hello, Captain's Cabin. Oh, sorry. Ah, okay, this is cute. Okay, what have we here? We have a cocktail, a saber, candle, some coin purse. What's that? An eye? A bloody book, a compass, treasure map, inkwell, and another treasure map. So let's take a look at the cocktail first. A cosmopolitan cocktail. It's moments like these that remind me that Captain was more than just another seafaring savage. <laughs> Doesn't have a high opinion of his Captain, right? What's this? Withering hates by Emily Bronte? Dear God, this whole book is coated in blood. Never heard that before. Well, would you look at that? This book belongs to Archie. Maybe he'll know something about all of this. Well, that's enough sleuthing for today. Back to the deck. Let's take the scenic way up. Okay, scenic way means more shoot. Oh, this is nice. Seeing here the, the sunset through the window. Let's shoot this crap hole. Okay, so the enemies so far aren't a big problem. But looks like I can't jump up high enough. I think also the level architecture is a frowny face. So, how about that? Can I go through here? Oh, of course. Just shoot the doors. Can I double jump? Not quite. Okay, looks like some some jumping puzzle going on here. Can I jump up here? It's okay. Good, good. Have to do some good jumping. Not too hard. The scenic route is not too hard. Oh my god, taking damage here. Oh, I can duck. Of course, I can duck. Again, very nice lighting stuff here. I mean, the background, of course, the tiling is pretty obvious. Maybe you could uh, have invested some time into a little bit of variation, but apart from that, it looks really nice. It's, it's very nice. Okay, so this one here. Oh my god, taking damage again. This is not good. This is not good. Okay. I just wanted to say that the enemies aren't really that hard, but the enemy placement is a little bit nasty. <laughs> nasty. It's very nasty in a way. But it's a nice level design, I mean... I know where to go, I know what to do. And it's challenging, but not too much. But still not getting boring in any way. Okay, there's something up there. You know, uh, usually if I would have seen a treasure chest or something on this ledge here, I would have gone up. I mean, I'm going up right now, so this... yeah. But... Uh, usually I would just leave uh, this kind of enemy alone. Okay, so we're here. Archie! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I shot Archie. But uh, he wasn't too much affected by my plasma rifle, so cheers to that. Archie. What is it, Elmo? Can't you see? I'm in mourning. Oh, this is nice. Questions for Archie. What does he know about the book? Where was he when the captain died? How close were you two? I'm going with that one here. I know you and the captain were close. I guess I should have known it wouldn't last. Two men of our position in such an intimate relationship. They'd have never accepted us in London. The open seas were honestly the only place we felt safe. Strange that this is where it all came to an end. Oh, this is pretty sad, actually. Where were you when the captain died? I... We were out having a drink together. Oh, slip of the tongue here, huh? Down in the storage room. And then what? We went back to his cabin and... Look, I don't have to tell you the rest. I woke up and he was gone. I stumbled out of the room and found him like he was. Oh, God. Hmm, I better check the storage room for more clues. That's what Holmes would do anyway. Would he? Okay, so last question. What do you make of this, Archie? That's my book I gave the captain and... Oh dear God. I think he was reading it when he was attacked. My God, he was murdered? Of course he was murdered. I don't have all the facts yet. Hello, little fellow. 
What are you thinking about? I would rather peel all the nails out of my paws than pull all the teeth out of my mouth. Oh, that's cute. What does it mean? I'd have to really think someone was going to do it to act upon that. But if I had to, I would. I have no idea what he's talking about. Nice. Wait, what in the world is that? <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> we ran out of time. Oh, I'm so sorry. But at least you got some cute music. Oh my god. So, yeah. Um, this was nice. I liked it. Of course, the whole uh, dodgy shooting part um, was very much uh, on the nose of a Metroidvania. The only thing that uh, uh, I'm missing from a Metroidvania, but of course you were running out of time, is the classical backtracking and maybe opening up new avenues with the new clues you gathered. Maybe you could have combined it like that. But uh, <laughs> as I see, you ran out of time. But from what is there, it's really nice. I mean, I like the musical nod. Well, it's not so much a nod, then it's, it's a straight copy <laughs> of the Super Metroid soundtrack. But w it was very nice. It set the scene. I like the sleuthing so far. At least it wasn't too taxing on my mind. And what I really liked, yeah, was, was the whole writing and the mystery. So I was, just as I was really getting invested in the whole thing, you ran out of time, lol. But yeah, keep, keep working on it. Maybe add a little variation to the graphics, but apart from that, two thumbs up. This is real good, real good. The next game is from another patron of mine, from Mon Dieu 72 they write... I hated the theme, no surprise there, so finally I made a game that would clearly use incompatible genres. Uh, www, let's open this URI. And the game is apparently Soccer Stacker, so let's tap the screen to start. Let's try again. Maybe I should just click, maybe I should just click. Yes, there we go. So, what do we have here? It's a f can I click anything? Okay, I click the ball and it's game over. Okay, so let's let's try this again here. Ah, okay. So, I have to just Damn it, missed it. Missed the ball. Let's damn it. Okay. Apparently, <laughs> I have uh, uh, to lower the uh, sensitivity of my mouse and try to click a little bit in advance, so... Oh my god, this is hard! So let's try stacking some balls. Wow, this is pretty much impossible to get more than two, but I, I think I like it. Huh. But I don't know how to stack <laughs> balls or let's call it spherical objects. So I, hmm. can I get a higher than three or is there something else to the game that I'm missing? So maybe it come back. Yes. Okay, so uh, the ball is not allowed to touch the ground. But I like this little LD41 logo there. Right in the middle. This is cute. But okay, so... Um, are you just trolling me with this game? <laughs> I don't think it's possible to have more than... than uh, 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 three balls. Okay, so I just... I can just click anywhere, apparently. Is that true? Yes, this is true, so... Okay. <clears throat> the more you know, right? Okay, so I'm just clicking anywhere now. Click. And hoping to get more than three balls. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Okay, let's give this one more try. I like the moving clouds in the background. This really has some kind of very cute, cartoony, um, um, even, yeah, mobile gamey background. But, I mean, come on, more than three is impossible, right? Unless I'm missing something. Unless I'm missing something. Um, yeah, it, it's cute. I think this this is what you call yeah pretty much a troll game uh, Showing that two incompatible genres. Well, there's a reason they're incompatible uh, In your uh, case you were going with a stacking game, but with intentionally impossible objects to stack so 
<laughs> I see what you did there, but yeah, you you, you got me. I, for some reason, I find this this kind of troll game funny. I mean, there are much worse troll games out there, so <laughs> so I'm really cool with that. So yeah, two thumbs up. I like the graphics. Kjelde Talmose, and I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Kjelde writes, hey, I think you missed mine. Sorry, I did, so I'm glad that you posted here. It's a bit odd and the command typing is a little broken. Honestly, it's the first time doing a gem without an engine, okay, <laughs> which kind of shows. Anyway, if you play it, I hope you'll appreciate the craziness of it all. Now let's take a look at the craziness of ASCII Space Commander, a game by Scott... Scott... oh dear... Scott... Vortoldolden? Skov Trolden? Skov Trolden and uh, Hjelde. I think those are the names. If not, I'm so sorry. Um, ASCII Space Commander is a game that takes place entirely in the console terminal. In the game you play as a space commander on the hunt for enemy ships. Gameplay includes dodging projectiles, blowing up spaceships, strategic aiming and more, and there's a broken GIF. Okay. But I'm already in the mood for some text, so of course I don't need graphical representations of the game, we're just playing ASCII Space Commander, genre text-based real-time strategy space shooter. Wow, you crammed in like three genres. By the way, on the other hand, right, right I mean text-based is not a genre description, if, if I'm really thinking about it. Either way, controls, it's input-based, so you just type into the console. So, moving my keyboard now up here, I hope I don't bump into any microphones there, because there are just too many down there. Uh, you can get a list of all the commands uh, in the game by typing help. That helps. Tools, Visual Studio and Paste Bin. And there's the Windows Executable. 13.7 kilobytes. My hero. I mean, this would have been interesting. The LD41 game where the, uh, uh, the theme is make a game with 41 kilobytes. Okay, this is the space field. And uh, I'm squinting already, so let's let's... Can I make this somehow bigger? Properties. Oh my god, I'm already getting attacked. This is not good. And here we are in the game. I had to resize uh, the screen and was utterly bombed the first time. Help. Okay, fire. X, Y. Oh my god, I'm, I'm getting attacked. Uh, stop. Grid. Find. Grid. Turns. Grid. Grid. Okay, grid. Oh my god, I was hit. I was hit. I died. Okay, so... The game doesn't doesn't fuck around, right? Um, can I hit restart? No. Okay, this is pretty frantic. Let's try this again. Okay, move left. Does this work? No. Probably getting attacked. Fire. No, fire. Couldn't understand. Fire. Okay, fire. What is X? It's it's 53. 30, 30, hit fire x, y, okay, fire x is, come on, you, you should give me a chance there before you kill me off, ah, once again, okay, help fire x is, must be, must be 48, and y is 44, 40, 36, so let's fire, couldn't understand command, Fire, 48, 36. Uh, the typing is really messed up of the game. Find, okay. Man, dude, this isn't really fun when, you, when you're trying to get the controls down and just get killed, right? Okay, let's try the controls again. Buy, chance, shop. Okay, let's, let's look at the shop. Okay, what can I buy? Gun or an engine? Maybe I should buy a gun. Maybe that's the problem. Find a credits. How many credits do I have? Oh, the game. The game's credits. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, man. Man, this isn't good. This isn't good. And it doesn't help that the... That, that the controls... Uh, uh, no, sorry, that the text keeps stepping on its, on its toes. Maybe it's just because I changed the screen size or text size. Yeah, let's again help for the commands. Stop. Stops the ship. Okay, now move. Maybe that's move east. Move east. Okay, okay, good. So, 
Stop. Okay. Let's try shooting, right? Let's go once again. Help. Help. Oh, go east. No, move. Ah, oh, damn it. <sighs> damn it. This is too hard for me. Okay. Move east. No, move E. Stop. Move south. Stop. I want to know what's shooting at me. This one here. Okay. Um, shoot at the coordinates. Come on. 52. And what's it? 140, 10. Is it a thousand? I really can't tell. I really can't. Couldn't understand. Come, come on. Fire. Fire 52, 100. Oh, I'm, I'm already dead. Oh, come on. I, I, I really see what you're doing there, but... But you don't give me a chance. <laughs> okay, help. Was it move, fire, shoot? Fire. It was fire. Yeah, I am really having having troubles reading and reading the coordinates. So this is 48, right? Or is it 048? And this is is this 044 or 144? Is this a pipe character? I think it is. Okay, let, let's start let's start all over again. Man, this is no fun. This is no fun at all. Okay, let's move east. Stop. Move south. There's the enemy and shoot east. Oh, oh damn it. Shoot. Oh, 52. Y996. Couldn't. What? Oh, shot. Yeah. Let's try this again. I, I'm assuming the, the enemies at, at, are at the same position, so let's try shoot. Uh, oh, 046. And why? What? What was it? One thousand. Was it one thousand? Why can't you understand? Shoot O forty six, and it was nine nine six. Maybe couldn't. Un why can't you understand my shoot command? What's wrong with you, game? Okay, move east. Move east. Okay, I'm. I'm just uh, moving now around the playfield. Move north. Move N, no, move N. Yeah, this is why uh, text-based games really aren't that fun if you have to type out all your commands. And I mean, I really like that you can shoot at uh, certain coordinates, but it really doesn't help that uh, uh, your enemies don't have to do all the typing and can just constantly attack you. Uh, frankly, I see what you did there and I see the effort that went into this. I mean, it's, it's text-based and without an engine and you made a console application uh, with in Visual Studio that looks like this. I mean, this is scrolling, background and everything. But from a game design perspective, you probably ran out of time, right? Because it's too hard. It's really too hard. Uh, you should uh, give me a very simple target on simple coordinates and maybe use some colors because I can't quite read. Oh, am I in an enemy right now that's attacking me? Ah, oh, Jesus. It's a very commendable effort. I give you that. But for me, it, I, I can't play it. As you've noticed, I, I, just, I just can't play it. But from an uh, engineering standpoint there, uh, good job. And, and there's a reason why text-based action games don't exist anymore. So I'm sorry, but yeah, two thumbs up for, for, for all the effort and all the coding without using a, a pre-built uh, engine. So this was a lot of work, right? So uh, yeah, I give you two thumbs up for that. Another very new patron uh, to me, uh, at least at the time of recording, this is Sebastian Scaini. And he writes, I didn't realize you were on Patreon, so I just joined as a patron today. Awesome! But here's my game if you're interested. Of course I am. And the game is Super Slime Slasher Ultra is a mix of a match three and action genres. Participate in the world's best arena combat sport. Slash slimes and match colors to earn points. The game is best on a controller. There is mouse and keyboard controls, but they can be a little finicky. You know what? I knew that there would be some game that would require me uh, to have a controller, so... Look at this. Okay, I, I'm, I'm just kidding. I also got, got this one here. Okay, so we're going to play this one on our real Xbox controller. 
It is highly recommended that you view the tutorial before playing. Ok, watch the tutorial. You must cash in your chain to earn points by right clicking or pressing LB. Ok, when you have a chain of three or more of the same color slimes. Ok, I don't know what this means, but there is a tutorial so we will figure it out. Oh my god, the graphics are very cute. This looks nice. Oh my god, even a talking character. Ok, apparently my... The, the, the GIFs aren't, aren't quite loading here. Oh, this is very slow. Either way, let's have a look at... Oh, tools. Unity, iTween, Fungus, Fmod and Photoshop. Oh, and there's even a soundtrack on SoundCloud. Wow. Bonuses, live wallpapers. You, you really did mess around, right? Stickers. Oh my god, you made stickers. This is, this is involved. So, apparently, uh, you put a lot into this game that I can tell already without even having played a bit of it. So let's change not having played it and let's get the Windows build. And here we are. Super Slime Slasher Ultra. Oh, sorry. Super Slime Slasher Ultra. And we even have some, some voice acting. This is nice. I turn up now my volume a little bit so I can hear more of it. Oh, and even there's a nice, nice music. So how can I select the tutorial? I will use the mouse now. Tutorial. There we go. Welcome to Super Slime Slasher Ultra. Oh, this is nice. She's, she's telling me what to do. Okay, so cash in combo. Left B, right B, move, aim and dash. Okay. Are you ready to enter the arena and face off with some slimes? I'm pretty sure that I'm not, but let's try it. Oh, you're new. Yes, I am. All right, let me explain the rules of Super Slime Slasher Ultra. Thank you very much. You want this to kill at least three of the same color slime in a row to get points. Okay, so match three. Good. You can't get points with less than three in your chain. Okay, three or Watch more. Watch out! If you kill one that isn't the same color as your chain, you'll break the chain and lose the points you've built up. Okay, so, so uh, avoid the chain breaker. The more Good. slimes there are in your chain, the higher number of points you'll get from it. Oh, that said, a large chain comes with its own share of risks. Okay. If you get hit by the type of slime you're chaining, it will do more damage to you based on how large your chain is. Uh, I just have to say, I really adore also the background music. I mean, you even made a talking character for your tutorial. You even made a tutorial. Wow, this is very involved. Okay, so not getting hit, but the chance of getting hit is higher. So be careful around the those ones. They're serious up. about getting their revenge. Okay, Once so you're satisfied with the size of your chain, you can turn it into points. When I'm satisfied with the size of my chain, which means as long as I'm not taking any hits, I'm not get, also not taking any chances, so I will probably cash it in when right away. When we do this, we use our patented slime conversion technology to turn the slimes into money, which then gets added to your score. I'm pretty certain you've all played Slime Rancher, right? If not, you should really check it out. It's a win-win! Nice! Now on to how to control yourself and your weapon. It's, it's just like in real life, this is what they teach you. You can move around using WASD or the left joystick. Good. You aim with the mouse or the right joystick. Careful where you point that thing. Alright. Left click or press right bumper to attack. Show those slimes who's boss. Okay. Right click or left bumper to cash in your chain. Get those sweet, sweet points. Sweet, sweet you points. You can use spacebar or A to dash and outrun the competition. Good. That's it for my training session. Good luck in the arena. That's that's pretty much... Okay, this is the upper bar of what I can mentally process in terms of, of, of how the game is played and the controls and everything. So I, I think we're good there, but just one more button and I will probably for, forget what, what <laughs> how to move around. Okay, sli Super Slime Slasher Ultra. How can I start? Okay, need to use the mouse apparently, so let's hit play. And. Okay, so. Okay, I'm not too fond of, of uh, uh, the right bumper to attack because it's, it's a bit uncomfortable if you can see here. Spreading out my, my thumb and my. Uh, what's it? Index finger. Okay, so let's. Ah. Uh, but frankly, I don't have uh, so far <laughs> no idea how to uh, uh, avoid this. Maybe maybe how to attack maybe with the right bumper. 
No, I need this, the left one to cash in my points. Okay, so it was a, a bad call to go just for the red ones. So you know what, we'll start over and I will go straight for the yellow slimes. Because they look pretty nice. Hey, that take a lot of hits, I have to say. They take a lot of hits. Okay. Oh, there's another yellow one. There's another yellow one. Come here. No, no, not the blue one. The yellow one. No, leave me alone. Okay. There's another yellow one. There's another yellow one. Okay. No, get away from me, you slimes. Get away from me. No. Oh, you know what? Let's go for the chain. Okay. Yeah, I showed them. Okay, so the green ones. The greens are looking pretty, pretty uh, nice and friendly. And they don't seem to fight back that much. Okay, okay, too much, too much going on. Cashing in my stuff. Oh good, oh god. There's another blue one. Okay, I'm almost dead. Almost dead. But I really like the, the like the visual presentation, also the sound. I mean, it, it's very polished. I, I give you that. It's very... Oh my god. Yeah, that did hurt. Okay, I'm getting used to the controls now. Let, let's try another round. I'm getting used to controls, but I'm not too uh, uh, too satisfied with them. It, it feels like... I, I, frankly, I don't know uh, what I'm attacking. Can I just move it around like this? No, this doesn't do anything. So let's go for the red slimes again. And my hitbox. I'm not quite uh, uh, happy with my hitbox, probably because I'm expecting, for example, here the yellow to go behind me, but it hits me right away. So this uh, actually so it's like a top-down game, but uh, the perspective is slightly asymmetric. Again, I went with the red ones. Why did I do this? Let's let's go for the blue ones instead. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Ah, oh, leave me! Leave me alone! Damn it! Oh, I, I killed the red one, didn't I? You know what would be helpful? To have some kind of indication of the health points of the different slimes. Ah, oh, damn it. This, oh, they got me cornered. They got me cornered. Because, uh, frankly, uh, I'm not sure how much or how often I have to hit a certain slime. Or how much hit points they have left. Maybe, maybe some kind of health bar, but of course this would clog things up. Maybe, maybe make the colors slightly darker. The closer they are to expiring. Ah. Okay, so uh, apparently I went with the right decision to go for the. Oh my god, the blue ones! Okay, so. Having some kind of, of ability to cash in my points uh, for, let's say, health packs or something would have been helpful. Healthful? Haha! <laughs> Oh god, okay, when, when it's getting frantic, it's really... It's really uh, straining here uh, a little bit on my on my fingers. Oh my god. I, uh, once they corner you, it's over. Once they corner you, it's it's over. Okay, this last green one here. Okay, there's another one. No, 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 take this one. Okay. Score. I don't know how, how well I'm doing, but yeah, as soon as it gets frantic, uh, what I wanted to say is the, the, the right bumper. Not too happy with the right bumper. Maybe maybe have the right bumper for dash and A just to attack. This would have felt much more comfortable for my hands at least. Or maybe it's just that, I, that I'm that i so used to the Super Famicom controller that, that this thing just, just feels out of place. Okay, so the yellow ones are attacking and oh god. This what you know what let's 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 go for the blue ones. I really like it uh, the that you have this uh, auditory feedback once uh, you should cash in your points that she really tells you um, <laughs> yeah this is a good time. Okay, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. I don't think I can make another change. Maybe this one here. Let's cash it in before for uh, <laughs> I'm the one who's getting chained okay i think i think 187 this I, I won't get any more points probably because yeah the hitbox the hitbox is really it's really uh, uh not too clear from me okay shouldn't have gone with the blue ones 
Why? Why do I always pick the wrong colored slimes? Okay, the red ones. They look pretty aggressive. Can I get more than 200? Yes! Yes! Take that! Take that! Green ones! Oh my god, I'm so close to death. Good! Good! Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. But as soon as I say I'm getting the hang of something, bad things happen to me usually. Okay, cash it in! Oh. Wow, 297 or 91? 97. <sighs> High score. Okay, two, 261. Okay, apparently that, that last one for some reason didn't count. But either way, I'm happy with my performance. But yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm not too fond of the controls. Maybe the mouse uh, and, and, and keyboard controls are better. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I've, I've heard they are finicky. Uh, okay, final thoughts. I love the presentation, really, and also the gameplay works very well. This match three uh, 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 mechanics with the with the with the fighting stuff is very very interesting and very enticing. Um, in terms of uh, longevity, maybe uh, make have a, for example, huh? How I would uh, mix things up is having some kind of like uh, different waves of slimes or that you can just, uh, if you make it into this little opening, maybe there's a shop where you can deposit all the coins or the points you got. So you lose some points, but maybe you can buy some health or buy some more strength or, or, or maybe buy some uh, invulnerability for five seconds or something like that. Uh, so that it's always a back and forth between, yeah, I want the highest score or yeah, I really need some help right now to, or health right now to, to keep going. Uh, yeah, maybe that's just, that's just something to expand upon it because this looks really pretty much finished. I mean, from, from the presentation here, you could ship this, right? Maybe just, yeah, just put in some more mechanics uh, to keep the, the gameplay interesting for, for a couple of more minutes. But overall, very solid entry. I really like it a lot. So awesome, two thumbs up for Super Slime Slasher Ultra. I'm glad I don't have to say this anymore. This game reached me via email from Echo and uh, he writes, Hi Phil, I really love your documentation videos, every Ludum Dare event. Thank you so much for watching. Every videos that you have watched, uh, that you have, I watched it. That's why uh, I admit that I'm a very big fan of yours. Thank you so much. Because of that, I practiced game development. After years, I encouraged myself to join Ludum Dare. It's great. Once you join the, the craziness of it all, uh, yeah, it, it can only get better. And now the Ludum Dare 41 is my first Ludum Dare entry. Yay! I hope you can try my simple game. A very, very, very short comment of yours is the biggest gift for me. Thank you so much. So let's have a look at the game, which is called Gender Circles. That's interesting. What if you combine the two different gender that have their own different mission in life? It's a disaster! Well, is it? Collective. Uh, objective. Collect all the gender circles according to the gender symbol color as long as you can. I have no idea what this means, but we will find out. Instruction. Press left, right arrow key to move the male gender symbol. Okay, so it's the gender symbols. Press A and D to move the female gender symbol. Press escape to pause the game. Red star will increase your movement speed. Orange star will create a shield around you. Sky blue star will slow the movement, everything that goes to you. The real challenge is that you need to control two gender symbols simultaneously while collecting the circle. Do you think you can do it? Let's play! FAQ, did you misread the theme? No, but I didn't misinterpret the theme. All of us have a different interpretation of this theme. As you can read in the definition of the genre, a class or category of artistic endeavor having a particular form, content, technique or the like. The genre is not only the form of literature, painting, music, film or other art form. Every gender has its own particular form or like. Uh, there are so many interpretations of genre, guys. It depends on us how we interpret it. Absolutely. I mean, after all, if you're given some kind of genre or theme for the Dudendare uh, event, if everyone would interpret it uh, exactly the same way, this would be really boring. And this is probably one of the biggest gripes that I have with the themes. Uh, usually, they're just so very ludumdare y in a way, which means they are uh, giving, in my opinion, they are way too constraining. So uh, if, if this is why I really like it when people interpret the theme 
in a very loose and wide sense. And looks like this game is, is one of those. Note, it's my first time to join in LD. I really appreciate all of your comments and suggestions. Tools used, Unity, FL Studio Mobile, Adobe Illustrator, Voice Changer with Effects Mobile. Cheers to that. I'm hearing some trancy music. Like the font and the little uh, uh, icon here. It looks, everything looks like it's, it's hand drawn. This is very cute. Instructions, collect all the gender circles. Okay, so music on, music off. Okay, let's let's play, of course, with music. I'm just checking there on my other screen if the music is recording. Looks like it is. Okay, so we're good to go. Wave one. Okay, arrow keys. Okay, can I shoot? All right, it was just collect. How do I... Oh, okay, so A and D moves the female symbol and the arrow keys move the male symbol. I really like the trancy music. Slow. Oh, good. Oh, okay. So this was a pickup. Wave two. Okay. So uh, essentially, yeah, you're just rotating both of them, and apparently, it's just trying to orient them towards the incoming obstacles. So okay, there's shield. Okay. So um, this is really putting your your uh, uh, abilities to uh, independently control your hands to a test. Okay, wrong one. Okay, shield. Okay, I really like it that uh, the, the little circles, uh, their appearance. And also uh, from a game design perspective, I like it that they have different uh, uh, speeds coming at you. Oh, good. So this is a shield. Some okay. Sometimes the, the 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 pink circles are a little bit hard to read uh, due to the animation, but we're good. We're good so far. Okay, slow, slow. I don't know if I'm doing good or bad, but it says lives left nine. So I think I'm not doing doing too bad. But on the other end, of course, this other. Uh, Oh god, oh god, spoke too soon. Spoke too soon probably. No, I don't know how I did it. But okay, as soon as, as there are some... It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's getting a, even a little bit frantic. I'm at a loss of words because I have to concentrate. Okay, so which one is first? Good. Okay, so what's interesting is uh, when the slow effect happens, Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, this was a little bit unfair that I couldn't turn fast enough. Maybe this would have been some possible upgrade to upgrade your turn speed. It would have even made it a little bit uh, uh, more challenging if your two gender symbols would move independently, uh, at independent speeds, I mean. So you would have to take that uh, into account as well. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's just too fast that you can't can't make it even if you try your best. Okay, so I'm taking that one. Good, good, score 106. I think this is good. This is really fun. I mean, it's very arcadey and very simple, but hey, if it works, it works. And the music, I really like the music. It has some kind of club scene trends, so. Good, good. Oh God, oh God. Uh, this would also really work really well. Oh God. Oh good, good, got the shield. <laughs> this this really saved me. Uh, what I meant to say, this would also work very well on a, on a uh, controller with two analog sticks. It's just about, yeah, coordination, right? Coordination and you're coordinating the two genders in a sense, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, it's it's getting harder now. It's getting quite hard now. Oh god. Oh god. But I think I'm getting the hang of it. I think I'm getting the hang of it. As I said, the only downside is probably um, that sometimes there are just two symbols or two colored rings that are just too fast. 
and right now I don't know if I can make this one here. Yeah. Game over. Score 206. Hey, I, I don't think it's too bad. Really like the music, like the like the interpretation of the theme and the simple gameplay. I mean, it's very arcadey, it's very down to its core, but the presentation is very nice. It worked without problems. Like the music, as I said, because it, it has this, this strange kind of trip. It reminds me a little bit from the music uh, of, of Super Hexagon. Of course, there wasn't any weird scaling. This still can look straight after playing. <laughs> but yeah, a simple but works and looks nice. I really like this hand-drawn style. So yeah, very solid entry. Good job, two thumbs up. The next game reached me via Twitter because I posted uh, my terrible score of not having rated any games, but my game was already rated around uh, 35 times. So I said, yeah, I should change that. And some people were nice enough to post their games as a reply. As did Nika, and they just wrote, let me help you out and the link to their game. So cheers to that. Mm. So good. And let's look at their game. Nika Otto um, made this game slash and slash your way through your enemies three seconds at a time. This tactical hack and slash has you taking three second turns against your enemies. Okay, so hack and slash and turn based gameplay. Um, this could be interesting, it looks a little bit frantic, but on the other hand very legible, so I can already make out those are probably the uh, the area of influence, but we will get to this. Controls, move, whilst, aim, mouse, slash, left shift button, dash, right mouse button or left shift, okay, also oh, left mouse button, slash, okay, yeah, good. Toggle full screen, F, use the dash to get out of sticky situations, just like in real life. When an enemy lays down a stuck block, you can dash out of them. Dashing out of the level is possible, but it damages you each turn. Okay, so not dashing out of the level. Use each mechanic strategically. This game takes a surprising amount of thinking for a hack and slash. Okay, this sounds interesting. All of the code and content is freely available at GitHub. Music by Mark Sparling. Downloads and link. Okay, so let's get the Windows version and slash our way through the time of three seconds. Oh my God, I completely messed up this, this line. And here we are, and I'm already hearing some sweet, sick metal. Oh, this is nice that the game reminds me again of, of the controls. Can, can we make the window a little bit bigger? No, we can't. Okay, so okay, I don't quite understand. Okay, so... Okay, so I have uh, three seconds for each of my turns. Okay, now they homed in on me. Okay, I don't think I fully understand it. But it, yeah, it looks like I only have three seconds and... Okay. <laughs> looks like I'm stuck here. Looks like I'm stuck here. Okay, so I could dash out. This was right. So once an enemy has homed, homed in on me, I really need to try to get out of that situation. But this is really interesting, having just three seconds to make your move and then you're just stuck for three seconds while, while you can't move and just have, have to hope that they won't reach you within that, that short amount of time. This is interesting. And I'm a big fan of the music, but this is probably down to my personal tastes of music. Um, yeah, uh, it, the graphics are basic, uh, but I like those pixel ninjas and, and those big swords here. Yeah, uh, it would have been nice <laughs> to, to read all this. But what are those black things? Oh my god, they're pretty intense here. Okay, now there's cheap music and metal. I adore this music. This is really nice. Oh my god, this wasn't too good. Oh my god, I'm going to die now. I mean, uh... Not like I, I wish to it, but okay, let's play this very conservatively. So I'm trying to stay out of of their way and just just come in for a, for a quick kill and then move out again because it just takes one hit and I'm done for. No, 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 no. Oh, good. Oh, good. So come up, come up. No, doesn't see me. This is good. 
Okay, so now I can finally read the screen here, because it always is click anywhere to proceed and I'm still in my hacking and slashing mode. So maybe have some kind of OK button down here where you as a player wouldn't be uh, prone to be clicking, because you would be clicking right there in the middle. So uh, I took uh, 38 turns and killed 34. Probably wasn't too good. But this is my strategy now. I'm, I'm just trying to clear as many enemies as I can, then try to stay out uh, for, for the rest of, of, of the round. Oh my god, this is too much, this is too much. Okay, so, haven't spotted me now. Oh, damn it. Good, okay. Okay, so... No, 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 no! Yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm usually in strategy games, I'm playing not too aggressively and very conservatively. Oh god, no, 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 no! Okay, so, um, I don't know if this was intentional that you can uh, uh, just dash out of the level or not. But, uh, in my opinion, oh my god, this wasn't too good. Oh good, they didn't see me. But in my opinion, it's, it happens a little bit too, too easily. Oh god, no, 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 no. Good, okay, so so I think level I'm doing good here with level five. Okay, but it would have been interesting to be able to uh, also somehow uh, destroy these, these little jelly blocks. I like to call them jelly blocks because, yeah, they <laughs> you get stuck like a jelly. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so good, okay, they didn't. Didn't see me, right? Can I? Oh no, this was no, no, this was not good. This was not good. So yeah, I'm just just trying to stay out of harm's way, and then hope not to get stuck inside the jelly blocks. Good. Okay, so it's dashing in and dashing out again. Okay, just wanted to dash there. Okay, so the turns are really based on seconds. At first, uh, I, I thought uh, the turns were maybe. I can uh, uh, I can move just within the uh, uh, the radius that was indicated there, or that was their radius. But apparently it's their attack radius, and it's really it's just three seconds <laughs> for everyone. So uh, I'm I'm lucky that the AI doesn't doesn't seem to spot me each time. Okay, let's. Okay, level six is now pretty hard. So I don't know if. What? Oh god, this wasn't... No, 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 no. I don't know what the other levels look like, but I'm assuming it's just more and harder enemies and more of these jelly blocks that just, uh, yeah, stick you up. Stick you up, is this a term? But I like the music, I really do like the music. I made something, something combining heavy guitars. Oh god, this is probably it. You die! Total kills 77, total turns 91. Swing accuracy... Yeah, no, not too good. Click anywhere to retry, okay. So I think I have every uh, seen um, everything that is to the game, unless after level 5 there's, there's some kind of boss enemy. But uh, I really like uh, 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 the, your, your take on the theme of, of, of yeah, just making turns not that much in a turn-based strategy game where it's you have a certain amount of movement points or you have a certain amount of, of defense and action points like like I would have done it but uh, uh, dividing the game up in three second turns in, in, a, in a discrete uh, 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 quantum of time that I find really interesting of course uh, uh, it's, it's a jam game and you could have done so much more in terms of enemy placement and maybe made the levels a little bit more interesting because right now they are just squares of course but apart from that, um, yeah, I really uh, I, I don't think I have much more to say. Just that, of course, you can always polish a little bit more, but the, but the groundwork is there and it works and it's really entertaining. And after level five, as you've noticed, um, as a player, I was looking for something, some, some kind of twist or changing things up, maybe um, having uh, some kind of items, I'm always a very item-oriented guy, having some kind of items that allow you to make your turn a little bit longer or some kind of enemies that when they hit you, uh, they also take the second turn or something like this. So uh, that it, uh, yeah, it would play a little bit more with this uh, turn structure, this turn mechanic. 
But yeah, uh, as I said, two thumbs up and, and cheers, cheers to that. The following game also reached me via Twitter on my terrible metrics post and it was from Geku1337 or as I assume Geku lead. Uh, and they write, test mine, leave a comment, it could be a good start for my doing something about my unacceptable situation. So let's try out their game, Ultroid. I really like it that it has here those two little dots on the eye. I think it's called a di diaresis. I don't know the pronunciation. But here in German we, we, we use them as umlauts, which are just transformations of some certain vowels. Vowels, I'm sorry. Either way, let's talk about games. Okay, so this is not Ultraflow. This is not Arcanoid or Arcanoid. This is Ultroid. My entry for the 41st, 41st Ludum Dare event. Play it like an usual breakout game using mouse in order to control pedal, but you must reach the yellow goal to open the next level. However, you cannot indefinitely bounce on surfaces. Your bounces are limited. 41 bounces are allowed. I see what you did there. Ludum Dare 41. This is great. I like this. Doing more, you lose a bullet. Try it. Leave a comment and an evaluation on my Ludum Dare entry page. Have fun playing Ultroid. I wish you the best plus plus. So it's not just the usual best, it's the best plus plus. So probably the very, very best. So I like the screenshots very much. Looks very clear and legible. So let's get the Windows build of Ultroid. All right, here we are again. Uh, I say, I'm saying again, as you can see, I've already played the first four levels. And yeah, my screen recorded just, just stopped after the first five seconds for some reason. So we will find out if this works now. So I'm trying uh, to recreate the experience that I had the first time when I played this. Oh, and I remember that I said, I really like the mouse point. This is, this is very stylish. It reminds me of some kind of 90s edgy stylish game with, with an with a angular mouse pointer. That's a little bit different. What, what struck me first about this in a positive way is if you move the pedal left and right, this, this squashing and stretching. This, this really is, is, is some kind of, it's just those nice touches, but it's, it's great polish. And what's also great is um, uh, from a visual perspective that if I'm looking at my pedal, I know that I have three balls now. Sorry, let, let's say I have three bullets now. And it's, it's instantly clear that, yeah, I'm using the first of my three, still got some left and uh, the white blocks are there, the, everything has this little neon -y glow, which I really like. So let's start here, and isn't this cute? I mean, everything that you can break bounces. Oh, okay, um, you wouldn't think that I've played this game before <laughs> if, you, if you saw my performance. It has a nice trancy soundtrack, so this could very well work as an updated Arkanoid breakout version. And the only downs, uh, the, the only problem that I have with the game is that when you move your mouse outside the view like this, also your pedal is gone. Usually I would have uh, liked it better if, if the pedal would just yeah, be stuck on the sides and you could still... Yeah, I'm losing now my bullet because I've used up more than 41 and I flunked the level. So let's try this again. Um, and one update that I also like to the, to the classic Arkanoid uh, uh, formula of, of mechanics is those angular surfaces, which really give the ball, uh, the, excuse me, the bullet <laughs> some, some uh, unpredictability. In later levels, you will see how this is expanded upon, which I really find uh, uh, yeah, very original and very interesting on this arcade classic and used up all my bounces. <laughs> so, yeah. Not really good at this. I think that even for a first level, this might be a little bit too hard for me. Uh, because uh, usually when I'm playing this kind of games, I'm just trying to max out uh, my score and trying to, to get as many bounces and, and, and bounced blocks as possible. But this game you have to play differently, uh, apparently. Um, the, the, the colored blocks you have to break are pretty much uh, nothing more but an obstacle. So you, you actually should try to avoid them and go somehow straight for the yellow circle if you can, you know what, um, let's skip this level and skip straight to level two, where uh, things look a little bit different. I also like it how, how um, um, the blocks come in. Yeah, it's 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 very simple style of animation, but it fits perfectly and, and gives it a lot of character. I really like this a lot. 
So let's try to make it this time. Uh, what? Oh god. I really want to show you how it looks like when, when, you, when you actually finish a level. <laughs> I, hope, I hope I can find one level at least in this second recording that I'm able to finish. But right now I'm just trying to maximize my bounces. Maybe some... There you go. This is some, some nice synths. Okay, so now let's try level 3, which looks like this. And what I like about it, now we don't have just angular shapes like those triangles here on top, but also those spheres and balls. Oh my god, I did it there at the first attempt. This was just lucky. At some, uh, some point like, like this, you can't really, it's not so much skill that's involved to make a level. It's, it's, sometimes you just have to have some blind luck. And <laughs> this was terrible. I like it, uh, this level here, as I said, it's, it's more uh, luck based because now you have those pulsating animated shapes and this, this gives it some kind of randomness up to a point that it's almost impossible really uh, to, to uh, make some uh, progress <laughs> in a way that it, it feels like you're in control of the game or, or you're shaping uh, uh, the path of the ball to your liking. Instead, it's just, yeah, you, you gotta be lucky and that the ball bounces around like, like you want. So this is probably uh, the only gripe that I have with it. I mean, it's some, some very polished, uh, simple, but very polished and very nicely presented arcade gameplay. And it, the th interesting thing it adds to the formula is, yeah, just this, this uh, uh, limitation to the bounces. So it's not like you're going for the high score. Like I said, you're just trying to avoid the colored blocks you would usually uh, in, in another traditional breakout game you just would go for for the maximum score. Okay, so one last attempt at this level here and then I think I've seen it all. But yeah, I, I don't think I'm not going to make it. But yeah, this was Altroid. Uh, yeah, I like the presentation very much. Um, uh, it, it's simple, it works, it works very well. The gameplay is, of course, the good old Arkanoid with some little modifications. I don't quite understand what the two genres are that are mixed. Maybe it's just this turn limitation. But yeah, I mean that that that's fine. It's 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 a yeah, it's an addictive little game. A little bit too much uh, in my opinion there on level four on the randomness uh, of things. Um, I'm a big fan of items. Maybe have some kind of if if you've made a level or some somehow that you can extend your 41 turns or get, get a free bullet or, or even extend the length of, of your pedal. Um, I think in any way uh, on Game Boy this, this was possible. But yeah, uh, again, very, very nice, nicely done, very well presented, very legible game. And I drink to that, two thumbs up and, and one bottle. And also via Twitter, reached me this one here from Markus Otterström, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if not. Um, <coughs> link. For real though, would appreciate any feedback, love you wits. You're welcome, bro. Let's have a look at Walter's Well. Oh, it's, it's nice to hear that Walter's Well. Ha! Ah. Okay, Walter's Well, a point and click side scroller game for the Ludum Dara 41. Theme compared to incompatible genres. Download to download the game, click the itch.io link. Well, I click, okay, I think I have this down. Controls, escape to pause. Okay, so you're starting with how to pause the game, so it, I assume it's going to be frantic. The rest with the mouse. Okay, escape and mouse. The game will guide you. Oh, this is nice. Notes by the developer. This was my first ever Ludum Dare. Congratulations! And I had tons of fun doing it. It was really challenging, but I'm pretty happy with what I got as a result. This is great, if you're happy, uh, uh, if you've got something on me because I'm not too happy with mine, but that's a whole different story. All assets are done by me and you can find the whole project on GitHub. Most of it was streamed here. Also, you even streamed it. That's great. I personally, I can't work with recording myself uh, with a with big camera for the documentary and doing the screenshots. If, if I would stream, I would always comment what I'm doing. And this was would just put too much stress on me because I know that my code sucks. And if I try to justify myself all the time, this, this wouldn't work. Yeah, enough about that. Let's play Walt as well. Markus Otterström at Le Moro. Very cinematic. Oh, you have some creepy music. 
So let's hit the credits. It was made by Markus Otterström. Special thanks to my Twitch chat for providing feedback and a bunch of cool ideas. Oh, that's cheating. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, so let's hit start. Oh, introduction. You are Walter, an old man who's just fallen down a deep well. Okay, so it's... Oh, okay, so this is how my mouse is controlling. By clicking left, click to jump and using some other mechanics, you will have to collect small pieces of rope to finally climb out of the well. Okay, so I like the controls. It, it's very straightforward. I Clicking makes sense. Oh, is there even some, some kind of reverb in, in this cave? I like it. Maybe the only thing that I'm, I have a little problem with, but it's not, uh, it's not a big problem, is that the separation between foreground and background could be a little bit better, but it's okay. It's, it's, it's not too worse. Maybe have some kind of, of solid black line or just darker line, or maybe have the background darker or brighter, probably a little bit brighter, otherwise Walter wouldn't be so legible against the background. Either way, let's continue. You don't need to collect all ropes, but try to get as many as possible. If you don't have enough ropes at the end, you will have to start over. Okay, so I'm going probably to have... Uh, trying to get them all. Level 1. Okay, hold right mouse button to spawn a platform. Okay, this is, this is really nice. Okay, so I... I don't know how... How to get up. Uh, okay, I'm holding now right mouse. Um, but it's too high. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Hold right mouse to spawn a platform. Can I only spawn a platform in a certain place or at a certain height? Because it doesn't look like I can jump on it, right? My jumping is not high enough. I want to spawn a platform there, just, just one block below. Ah, this apparently, I don't know if this... The controls, uh, uh, the jumping is a little bit floaty, but <laughs> not floaty enough for me to reach this 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 platform there. Huh, frankly, I don't know. Oh, okay, maybe it's pulling the mouse down or up, or just clicking somewhere where I want my platform to go. Yeah, sorry. I, frankly, I don't understand how to. I mean, if if I pull up there, I can spawn one up here. Hold right mouse button to spawn a platform. Oh man, yeah, that's that's what I'm doing, but it doesn't seem to work. You know what? I'm I'm going to start this game all over, restart level. Maybe maybe that will fix it. Who knows? Okay, so I got the rope and I'm spawning a platform. Same problem as ah as before. Hmm. Maybe I should restart the game, or can I crouch? Or maybe it's when I'm jumping. Okay, so when I jump, the platform will always be. What looks, what appears to be two blocks above Walter. I can understand this, but I can't start with the platform. Maybe, maybe I should go into this direction. No, no, there's uh, the end of the level. Oh, okay, so I can multi jump or double jump. Okay, didn't know that. Okay, so this is of course very helpful. This is of course very helpful. Good. Okay, you should put that somewhere uh, in your description. Oh, okay, there is the way out. Okay, I'm sorry. This is what I meant, uh, the legibility of the of the of uh, what, what you can walk on and what is in the background. And with this uh, gradient on the outside, it's really hard <laughs> to see where, where to go and where, where not to go. Okay, click on the arrows with your right mouse button to move your spawn platforms. Ah, okay. So, can I... Okay, so when Walter is standing there... Ah, okay, so the position of my mouse, of course, is important. Because, oh my god, now that I'm having Walter there, I really need to click this one here fast. Oh god. Oh, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. Okay, so I'm starting here. Another feedback is uh, maybe put, put the checkpoints not at the beginning of a level, but maybe at the beginning of a screen. Just like in Super Meat Boy. Maybe. Okay, so I'm holding the right mouse, mouse but I was just clicking it. Okay, so uh, click. Click again now. 
good. So somehow... Oh, this is really, really, really tough. Having Walter there and not fall off. Oh, God. Oh, good. <laughs> That's interesting. So, okay. So, um... Huh. How do I, how do I get... Don't fall down. Yeah. I don't know how to, how to get this rope there. Really. Because when I spawn a platform, it will always be above him, right? Yeah. It's, it's never down. So, hmm. You know what? Uh, yeah, this worked. This worked. Oh, level two. This was level one. Okay, so there we should probably shouldn't get caught by the boulders. Okay, so this is pretty much uh, now some kind of elevator, and it's already pretty hard actually that that you have to avoid the boulders that are falling. Oh my god, this this ramped up in difficulty pretty fast, pretty fast. Okay. Can I jump up there now? No, probably not not high enough. Huh. Why can't I land? Ah, oh, okay, this this one didn't 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 quite reach me. Okay, frankly those platforms appear to me a little bit to be a little bit glitchy. And the separation from background to foreground isn't that uh, very well to me. Okay, now I'm finally there. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, almost, almost got it. No, okay, like this. And then... Okay, um, this is a uh, very interesting and very original uh, interface or, or controls, uh, rather. I, g I give you that. But yeah, I'm... <laughs> Really having troubles there. <laughs> really having troubles. Okay, let, let's try it like this. No. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. Yeah, to me, the platforms that you can spawn, they are very unreliable. Um, and, ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so, hmm. Okay, let's let's try it like this. No, I al already made it. Okay, let's give it one last try there. Good. No, 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 I meant to jump up. Oh god. It would have been nice just to reset all my all my platforms that I created. Because okay, I'm playing Tetris now. This is Oh god. Yo, you know, uh, this is too hard for me actually. I I'm <laughs> I don't have the patience for this. But um yeah, I, I like the uh, uh, concept really much. It's it's very nice this 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 kind of mouse centric controls, because your your character just keeps walking where your mouse is. So you really have to strategically position your mouse cursor over tiles in the level. This is very interesting. Like I said, the problems that I have is the legibility of of the level, what uh, constitutes as background and what you can walk on, and yeah, I found the 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 platform creation are very uh, uh, glitchy and and unresponsive in a way so that I don't quite know where I would spawn a platform. Maybe um, if I'm holding, let's say if I'm holding the right mouse button, it would show me an outline of, of the three tiles where my platform would go and once I release it, then there the platform would spawn. This would help me to, to know where to spawn a platform, for example. And yeah, this is for a second level, this is already too hard for me. But uh, yeah, um, <laughs> just killed Walter again. But yeah, I really like it and cheers to you, man, and two thumbs up. And yet another reply to my tweet. Uh, was from Daniel and Daniel just writes maybe this one link to the game and the game apparently is Type Racer. Type Racer is my first entry for the Ludum Dare LD41. Congratulations on your first game. The theme was combined to incompatible genres so I combined a racing game with a typing game. Uh, the mechanic is so simple. You have to write the words that appear on the screen as fast as you can uh, so your car can move as far as possible. Um, hopefully you will have the record. Sorry for my bad English. Hope you enjoy it. Well, as long as, as the words I am, uh, have to type are written properly, I think... 
Huh. On the other hand, this would be really interesting, having mistyped uh, uh, words to type, because uh, then you would easily mess up if you think, ah, oh, it's, it's, I know this word already and just look down, but instead you really have to, to look up. Okay, so I'm repositioning now here my microphones. I hope I'm not making too much noise there. Okay, sorry if, if I'm bumping the microphone during the game, but, but we're all friends, so this, this is cool. Okay, let's get the Windows version of Type Racer and learn some typing. And here we are, Type Racer, you should type as fast as you can. Okay, I think... Oh, this is cute. Sorry, I didn't click click uh, 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 the, the window. It has nice music and I really like the simple graphics. This is, this is cute, I like it already. Okay, so let's play. Let's play. Acceleration. Dynasty. Oh, I misspelled it. Dynasty. Consecutive. Safety. Tell. Land. Speed. Yeah. Ratio. Dragster. Tickets. Attendance. Finish. Yeah. Violation. Ranking. Okay, this is good. Ratio. Caution. Instinctive. Oh yeah, qualifications. This is a hard word. Odds, this is fine. Transmission, limit, minor. Oh, this is all speedway. Oh God, back, even even with the dash, yeah, okay. Unusual test, okay. Windshield, so those are flexi uh, flexibility. Oh my God, it really shows that I'm not a good typist. Display, come on, overshoot, please don't. Yellow flag. Oh my god, check off all trades. Destroy all humans. Digital. Expectation. Squad, come on, squad. Those are some hard words. Deceleration. Exposure. At least I know some of those words. Swings. Advantage. I always find it interesting how points, how much I try uh, to talk, birth, and and type at the same time, and documents, and it backfires horribly. Exhaust, unsafe, positive. I'm positive. Oh my God! Sorry. Rookie trial. Come on, stability, prototype, qualifications. High speed, this is not sequential. Improvement response, at least enhancement. Oh my god, speedway, come on. Retard and oh god. Ah, oh. you should type faster <laughs> or not. Wow, okay, I made it for two kilometers. This was hard. <laughs> this was hard, especially when, when you're talking while you're typing. So I hope I didn't make too much noise there on the microphones. Whew, I'm sweating. This was intense. This is really fun. I mean, uh, you, you could uh, uh, probably find, find also some, some kind of shake up to, to, to the whole gameplay. But essentially, this one is teaching you type. Maybe start with words that are pretty much all on one line. And then maybe uh, after, after some words, maybe just have four letter words and five letter words and then keep ramping up the intensity. Maybe you could also have some kind of, of speed bumps that when you type a word really fast, a long word under a certain threshold, it really gives your car another speed bump. Maybe something like this, but, but yeah. Uh, Sweating. Why am I sweating? But this is this is really interesting. Having a, a type-based uh, racing racing game. Yeah, uh, music is, is nice. A little bit repetitive now, but but it's okay. It's it's a little bit funky and groovy. It, it it fits the style. The style. I like the visual presentation. And yeah, overall, two thumbs up. <laughs> this was intense. <laughs> On YouTube, the old coot wrote me a little comment uh, to play their game. And I was just requesting the link, and two hours ago, I got it! So let's have a look at Burbo the Game. A game by The Old Coot, Lefo Pano 22, sorry, <laughs> and Titus. Experience the world of Burbo in this FPS tower defense game. Oh, interesting. This game was made by my team, Team Floatgoat. 
consisting of me, Cole, Titus, and Jacob. The game, uh, in the game there are plots where you can make buildings, and those buildings help you defeat waves of enemies called the Burbo. Known bugs. The marine spawn button is there, just down a bit. Note, press E on the barracks to pull up the unit spawning menu. Okay, E on the barracks and there's the link. So I don't see a screenshot or anything else. I think we'll be fine. And here we are, credits, executive programming. I like this, Cole, Art, Jacob, music also Jacob, uh, catering Mr. Stutzman. <laughs> <laughs> Playtesters. I like this. This reminds me a little bit of the code names uh, 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 the people at Nintendo used at the first Nintendo games, I think, because they weren't allowed. Or was it Konami or Capcom? Well, some company where they just used some aliases. I think it was Konami. Okay, so this Burbo. Uh, well, then let's start. Okay. I can move around. Okay, so if I move up, to these plots, I can already select what I want. Generator, barracks, artillery. I have 50, so I think the only thing that I can build is a generator right now. And stick my face into it. Okay, so it's a big power generator with this little sign here. Oh, the burbo. Okay. Apparently, there's no sound, but since they are attacking, I should really. Really build some money 85. Can I build some barracks? Not yet. Okay, so I just have to do the defending myself. Good. Good. They're only coming from two sides now. Okay, this is good. I really like the health bars they have and that I don't have to. Oh my god! Sneaky bastard. Uh, let's build some artillery. This will help me. Oh god, oh my god, too close, too close, too close, too close, too close. Oh, apparently, no, I'm not building a generator. Okay, um, how, <laughs> how do I get rid of you? <laughs> you stupid big bird, leave me alone. I'm probably, I'm, sh I'm just shooting through it. So, you know what, I'm going to ignore this one. I, I, it might follow me around. Okay, there you go, there you go. I like it that I don't have to, to reload. So let's build some barracks and by hitting E, uh, let's build a marine. Can I build something? Yes, I think it's, it's a marine. Okay, I hit E now, but this doesn't do anything because probably I'm, I'm thinking of, of <laughs> reloading. Okay, so this purple thing here is a marine, I guess. Okay, marine, 55. Again, can I do this again? No. Let's make some more, let's build another generator. And right here, a med station. Oh, I can't afford it. Let's build some more artillery. And no, 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 just keep, keep shooting at these big bird thingos. Okay, those are mine, I hope. I'm guessing that the purple ones are mine. Yeah, um, some feedback <laughs> in terms of color coding. Uh, I would have uh, uh, chosen that everything in my base is, is purple, so that I knew that those guys are mine, <laughs> are belong belong to my fraction, and have everything the birds like this. Uh, uh, the the complementary color of purple would be green. So have the 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 uh, the enemy burbs. Sorry, <laughs> I already forgot uh, the, the name of the of the enemies. Uh, yeah, to have them um, to be. Uh, everything just all shades of green. So instantly I know when I see anything that's green that I know it belongs to the enemy. It really doesn't matter what color, just that uh, those are on the opposite uh, kinds, uh, of the opposite sides of the color spectrum. Uh, think Splatoon, um, the, the different colored ink, it's, it's something like that. So that at one glance, even at the corner of my eye, I know that it's either an enemy or, or not. So let's build some more barracks then, right? And build a marine. And can I build here another marine? Maybe, maybe not. And looks like I'm doing all the work here in this tower defense thingy. You know what? Build some more artillery. 20 seconds. Oh, I can't. Can't I? Oh, well then, it's more barracks. Okay. Oh, I can't afford it. Can't afford it. Okay. You know what would have been nice? Some sound effects or some other way that I know that I'm hitting them. Maybe just... 
Sorry. <laughs> very, very unprofessional. Um, some kind of sound effects or, or other just visual, visual effects in terms like, like some, uh, I don't know, particles spawning or something like that, so that I know that I'm hitting them. Uh, at least uh, the, the health bars give a good indication of whether I'm doing things right or not. Okay, so let's build some more artillery then. And what's the goal of the game? Well, it's probably not going too far from your base, but let's fill all the plots and then see how things are going. Build some more can E, build some more Marines, okay. I really like it that, that I don't have to uh, reload my weapon. But I think so far things are looking pretty good on my end. Can I jump? Yes, I can jump. Is this a Unity's uh, default first-person controller? Because it feels so familiar. Okay, <laughs> shouldn't try to, to, to climb that mountain. Okay, so let's, oh, let's build some more artillery because I can afford it and another generator, whatever this does. I'm assuming it just generates more money in the med station because why the hell not? Some more artillery and some barracks. Good. Good. So right now I think it's... Oh my god! Is this the final boss? Oh, this is cool. This is really nice. This is surprising. You want this in your game. Because uh, I was just about uh, uh, to say, yeah, I think I've seen everything the game has to offer. But right now there's this, this big enemy. You won! Oh my god, I won! Uh, but I didn't know that I won <laughs> because I, I thought my projectiles didn't make a dent because the, the health bar on this big block of burbos. Yes, burbos, I just checked. Uh, wasn't, wasn't showing any signs that I'm hitting them properly. So yeah, maybe work on that. But apart from that, um, uh, <laughs> first person tower defense, it, it, what can I say? It works. The presentation is pretty basic but it all makes sense. Maybe give uh, also the buildings different shapes or just different shades of colors because um, you really have to step back to see what's on top, uh, uh, which works fine on the distance. But as soon as you're closer up, like I was uh, most of the time, you don't really know what type of building it is. But of course, this is just polishing stuff. And uh, yeah, maybe have some... I mean, right now it's pretty much in the open and the enemies just attack from two sides. Maybe have some, in later levels, I mean, if you keep on expanding this, maybe have some kind of, of canyons or stuff or just, just where uh, um, you can't really watch all the lanes or the possible entry points of the enemies. So you, you really have to make strategic decisions where to, to put stuff. I mean, yeah, just your basic tower defense game. But apart from that, Lacking a bit of sound and music, but it's it's a great solid entry. It works and it shows that tower defense in first person It, it, it works. It, it really works. So two thumbs up In the comments to my own LD41 game Gonzo uh, said uh, geil Which means German for awesome. I love the atmosphere man super spooky. Really? <laughs> Thank you I also love the idea of using a light as a weapon can get some stuff great stuff in 3d. Yeah in 3d what I did wasn't nah. pretty compelling. If you're not super busy, have a look at my game, my first LD entry. Awesome. So I'm not super busy right now. If you hear, hear some chirping, yeah, the sun's about to set. It's right now half past four in the morning. So birds are already waking up. So which means, yeah, I'm, I'm not super busy. Let's look at your game. Space scape. Shadowscape. Apparently it's shadowscape. <laughs> Fixed pixel shadows on WebGL. Now super shiny. Ooh. Also doesn't throw exception on level 9. This is good. A space flight sim slash puzzle game. Ooh, interesting. Guide your ship to match the shadows. Test your flight skills and depth perception. Some say it's meditative. Others say it's hard as hell, yet not no sentient being has yet to ever realize level 42. Well, 42. That's the answer to everything, right? Okay, it looks very stylish. It really, it looks very stylish. Okay, so it's WASD and Q and E to turn. Um, decelerate or descend or S ascend. Yeah, that's yeah, probably okay. I, sh I think I could work with this. Watch your position, match your position to match the shadows. Okay. Wow, that's that's some some trippy stuff there. There's look look. There's even another mouse pointer. That's that's cute. 
Okay, so downloads and link. So let's have a look at Spacecape or Shadowscape. Who knows? Shadowscape. Okay, mouse is looking and PSRE. Is this F1 or F2? But uh, this one here makes sense. Okay, let's... Oh, sorry, sorry. Didn't click into the window, so now we have some, some very slick animation going on there. And some, some very nice ambient sounds, like it. Okay, so... Am I already... Am I already flying? Oh, apparently I am. Okay, so I have no idea what this means. But apparently I have to just move around and match the shadows. And it's not so easy because there's... Oh, okay, there's some kind of inertia going on. And... Oh, there we go. Almost got it. Okay, this is, this is interesting. This is a very interesting concept. So I think... Okay, I'm just holding the mouse and pulling around. So apparently... Uh, I should match probably this pattern here in the middle to move on. So I'm using now the shift and the space to descend, uh, to descend and ascend. What does one, two, F1? Okay, F1 means means uh, uh, the menu. Okay, so I'm just moving and pulling my mouse around, trying to match this. This is some very trippy imagery. Shift down. Okay, so I think I know what I'm what I'm I should be doing, but I don't think if I'm really really good at this. Or, or can I only move in the shadows? Is that it? I frankly I don't quite understand. I think I don't quite understand the concept. Can I move through here? Or am I now stuck? Pulling my mouse. Okay, let's hit F2. Does this reset me? No, mouse, look, match your position to match the shadows. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm apparently I've reset the game. You know what, let's, let's try this one down here to match my position. This reminds me a little bit of, uh, of the puzzles in, uh, uh, what's it called? The Witness, the John Blow's game, The Witness. But uh, this one here, uh, of course, since it's in 3D space, it's a little bit more, more involved. <laughs> and, uh, of course, uh, a lot harder, right? Okay. So, uh, what I don't like about it is the controls. They feel very floaty, of course. I mean, I think this, is, this must be intentional. Oh, there I got it. This is nice. This is nice. And here we are in the next room. Okay. This is... I mean, uh, uh, it's it's very trippy, and it's also very meditative. Absolutely, it is. And yeah, the first level <laughs> was was easier, but uh, yeah, the controls, like I said, are floaty. And personally, I would have enjoyed the mouse look to be a little bit more responsive, really. But I think yes, got it. But I really dig the concept. Oh my god, this is so trippy. <laughs> I really dig the concept. It's, yeah, it's just moving around and and trying to find the right spot from where you projected the image, right? Ah. Oh. Okay, so I think I still need to go like this, there. Huh, got it. Don't know how, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'm very, very um, surprised how well this works. First person puzzle game. You can, wow, you can put this on, on Steam and win some some art game awards. I mean, like you said, it's, it's a little bit uh, of meditation, but then still a puzzle game in a way. Hmm, interesting, very interesting. I don't know how you could expand upon um, the concept Maybe uh, do the same stuff of pattern matching, maybe with some specular maps where you have to stand in the perfectly right space in relation to a, a light source, perhaps. Um, or 
maybe have have three layers uh, that uh, you need to uh, overlap correctly okay so i think i just need to come a little bit closer or am i too close almost got it i think just need to come a bit closer like this is it or is it not i don't think it is it must be not but the music also does does its thing turning around now okay <laughs> yeah uh, uh really really having troubles with the, with the mouse here just because the turning speed is just so slow so i don't i don't know um if i'm going into the right direction or at least it doesn't feel like i even if even if if i'm going in the right direction it doesn't feel like uh i'm having control over where i'm going and this really <laughs> this really sucks <laughs> okay I will try this level uh, still once again. Yeah, but as, as you've seen with the first level, I thought that I had it and then it took me much longer. But okay, this was the position. Interesting. Okay, let's let's try maybe maybe this one here. Can't be too hard now, can it? I don't know if it's intentional, this this flickering here. I, this is very interesting. This reminds me a little bit of matching two almost uh, 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 good uh, pictures of a camera when you're when I was doing the keynote where I was talking to myself and I bumped into the tripod and had to reposition the the camera digitally myself so that it would match. It reminds me a little bit of that where it just having two pictures uh, on on overlay and yeah and really just try to get <laughs> to get the correct position. And it, it, it feels a little bit like this, just, just trying to, to find the, the sweet spot where most of the stuff overlaps. Oh, good, I need to be a little bit lower. What was it? Shift? It was shift, I think. I'm low. Damn it, come on. There are the mouses. Like I said, I think, I think uh, doing this with the mouse is not the best way. <laughs> and... Clipping through the floor. I'm sorry. Breaking the game. Wow. I mean, this could also work as a screensaver, right? I mean, just just the replays of some players trying to find the right spot. And when you then you yell at the screen, say, "Go left! Go left!" So, oh, oh, damn it. I mean, it looks like I'm on almost the right position here. But then, of course, uh, uh, what's going on here on the edges completely doesn't match. So, you know what? I'm trying. I'm trying this side here. Maybe I can make it here. Again, I don't know if it's intentional that this whole thing there is flickering right now or not. But uh, I don't mind actually <laughs> that it does. Okay. I think I must be going here, or am I too close? Uh, but this gives you some interesting uh, spatial reasoning, not only of your position within that space, but also of your uh, uh, frustum of view. Frustrum, frustum, I always say it incorrectly. Okay, uh, I think I'm getting there now. I think I'm getting there now. No, I don't. I was closer before. Almost. Almost, but ah, the the other controls. It's really it's really hard having good uh, controls in a in a completely uh, 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 360 uh, degrees of freedom kind of space. Ah, uh, almost, almost. Can I make this? Can I make this work? Gone too far. Yeah, this is strangely addictive. I think ah, oh, just overshot. Am I there? Yes, yes. <sighs> okay, um, I don't think I'm going to do this last one there again. Or is it the last one? I don't know. Because the flickering may be a little bit too much for me, so maybe I should put a content warning uh, in front of this one. So let's just hit escape now there. But yeah, it's very stylish, it's very simple. First person puzzler, I totally get it. It's about uh, uh, perspective, essentially. And from, from your uh, mechanics, 
like I said, I think you could work with other kinds of visual phenomena, like uh, vanishing points of perspective. I mean, it's, it's kind of like that. Or uh, like I said, specularity. Or maybe, yeah, some, some, just some other kind of visual stuff rendering where you have to be in a certain, very certain position just to see stuff. But yeah, if you haven't played, uh, check out The Witness and there are some puzzles there, especially with this uh, old uh, Asian uh, type of, of, of temple with, uh, with the wood cutouts. Yeah, maybe should, you should look into this one or you already know this, have finished uh, 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 The Witness and they're just yelling at your screen now. Uh, watching me play your game but overall yeah i really like it like the sound like the music of it uh, a great mashup of the concept uh, this this can go places so yeah two thumbs up another comment i got on my game was from space monkey and they said i i know you must have better things to do well i don't <laughs> Uh, but it would uh, really make my day if you could give me your opinion on my entry. I'll ship you some coffee if that's what it takes. No, man, you're, you're good, but if it's not trouble for you, maybe. Um, by the way, I started this jam watching your keynote. Uh, LD wouldn't be the same without you. Keep it up. Aww. Of course, now you got me playing your game. Space Monkey's jam game. Apparently they did it in a team with Jay Hass, probably Jason Hasselhoff, is Dancing Club Bloodlust. Love the name. And from what I can see, it's cute, but also uh, a little bit on the brutal side. So this is fine. Perfect if you're looking, looking for 10 minutes of fun with a nice difficulty curve, the rewarding rhythm game. Rage is pretty much guaranteed at some point, but you'll also get satisfaction after beating the levels. Uh, if this whole game development thing doesn't work out, you can really write the copy that's on the back of, of gaming packages to sell the games. But then I just remembered while I was saying uh, this sentence, there's no physical media anymore being sold. Well, not much, so... This should go on your Steam page. All, that's all I'm saying. This is a great sentence to get players in, invested and interested. The WebGL version is a post-gen version. Please play the installed version if you want to rate the game. Progress is automatically saved during the game. Awesome. Feel free to come back to it later. To delete the save file, hit delete in the main menu. So let's go with the Windows version and see how well I fare. So Dancing Club Bloodlust. I downloaded the Windows version, but it still says post gem version. So yeah, it's this is what we're going to play and judge. So I, <laughs> I really like the very cheerful background. Uh, this this lollipop here reminds me a little bit of of Candy Crush Saga. Terrible memories. So let's make some new terrible memories. Let's have a look at the credits first. Matilde Jadot, Jadot, Gerot, and Julian Bonté or Julian Bonte. Sorry, I don't know uh, how to pronounce your names, where you're from, but I really like the art style so far and the cutesy music and this little abomination. My little abomination. How's that about for a Saturday morning cartoon? So, okay, let's play. Can't be too hard. Don't know anything about the controls. But, oh my god, this is Slenderman. Okay, oh my god, this is an intro, right? So it's Slenderman and probably the nurse from Silent Hill. And this little abomination has a, an idea and wants to be a cute little princess, Yumigami. I have no idea what's going on, but I think this is... Okay, move with Wazd. This is some very cute art. This uh, reminds me a little bit of Bastion. But from what I know is we want to go to Yumigami. Whatever this means. Oh my god, this is adorable. Okay, speak with Enter. I don't think I've seen you before. Welcome to Yumigami. You came to learn how to dance. Then you need to meet our king. Okay, our little abomination is on its way to meet its king. Oh, she has a cute little bow. The guards won't let me pass. I know I'm not the best dancer, but I need to visit my grandma in the city. If I teach you, will you help me? Well, of course. This is very nice. I mean, having such an elaborate introduction to your game and also the graphics very spot on. Dancing is really easy, I'll teach you. Just go in the right direction in the rhythm. Try it now. Okay.
Okay. I think I'm nailing this now. End. Oh, good. Good. A rhythm game. Oh, no, you made no mistakes. The power of dance is literally killing me. <laughs> and it's a... It's a blocky piece of meat. This is cute. I hope I'm not going into the wrong direction, but let's talk to her. The girls won't let me go into the city. I have some pretty good dancing skills, but they say my dress isn't pretty enough. <sighs> okay. Oh, I can run with shift. This is helpful. This is helpful. The king equipped every guard post with these pink death machines. He bought it from Chopolov, a famous inventor for a small fortune, they say. They were supposed to zap any trespasses. Okay. Turns out they're just lollipops. <laughs> okay. Well, King pretty much uh, <laughs> uh, got a bad deal out of this inventor. There is no way I'm letting you pass. You need at least you need to at least beat the local population. An average rate of 60% in region, you'll pass my challenge. Okay then. How can I beat the local population? Didn't I just meet them all no meat uh, this was a pun because this one was pretty meaty okay apparently i have this is a very elaborate open world game it seems the challenge is too hard don't panic you can always try again later it's much easier when you know the rhythm that is true is there a music with the rhythm you want to cross the city bridge you'll need to prove your worth first and beat the guards challenge okay i'm up for it is this the challenge this one is a little fast for a kid like you. Well, bring it on. But you need to keep your head up. Okay, up. Oh, this is nice. I'm, it's like I'm playing a little melody. I think I flunked one or two. 67%? I thought I made more. I thought I, I was spot on. Maybe I, I try with the cursor keys now. Do the cursor keys work? Okay, so now when the, 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 uh, the arrows turn green, it's good. If they remain red, it's bad. Talking about bad, oh my god, I think my camera is running out of battery now. So you know what? Uh, the game said it saves its progress. So you know what? Let's put it on the test and see if it really does. So uh, charging my camera now and maybe tomorrow I will try this again and keep working on getting the, across the bridge. But I like it. I really like it so far. So, uh, oh my god, see you! Back at Dancing Club Bloodlust, we're at the title menu and let's hit play and continue where we've left off. Okay, so apparently we're still at the intro. Can I skip it or did the game just restart entirely overall? So uh, I think I understand. I think I don't understand the story anymore. Okay, so let's... Is this where I left off? Oh yes, of course, this is where I left off. This is good. I was just a little bit worried because I, I saw the, the introduction again. But you know, let's try it again. Let's try this again. You want to cross the city bridge? You need to prove your worth first and beat the guards challenge. Okay, okay. To get back into it, let's try this, this once more. Okay, I was a little bit too fast on, on, on one, but I think uh, we're pretty good. 95%. Okay, so I'm good with that. Do we need to get 100? I hope not. If a challenge is too hard, don't panic. You can always try again later. You know what? Trying this next island here. You know what? This reminds me a little bit with the islands and the crossing of, of uh, Super Mario vs. Rabbids, uh, the XCOM-like game on the Switch. Uh, it has the same style, a little bit more stylus, of course, but it reminds me a lot of it. Yumigami is separated in three regions. I live in green lanes, but I visited the city a few times. Nobody but the guards have access to Royal Palace, though. Let's get the mouse pointer out of the way. 
I am the most talented dancer in green lanes. Okay, so this looks like a boss battle. I'm also way too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my sh shirt. Oh, it hurts when I start singing. Okay, <laughs> this was hard. This was hard. Wow, that was neat. You scored a 96%. Should I should I score 100 or is it is it cool with what I got so far? You know what? Let's try to get back to the guard. I think the guard was there. Was it there? Guards won't let me go. Okay, so this was of of course a hint to be very good at dancing. So you worked on your rhythm and you think it's enough to impress me, right? Show me what you got. I did the voices yesterday a little bit differently, if I remember correctly. Never mind. Okay, so let's impress the guard. My brother works at the Great Castle. I'm sorry, I mean, my brother works at the Great Castle. He says the king is a real coward. Okay. Oh shit. Oh my god, this was hard. I completely messed up this one. But I really like that each uh, section is now a, a little rhythm. Uh, has, has, each section has a little uh, music itself. Okay, so maybe I should do better than 70%, right? But now uh, we know what you're what what we're in for, so maybe maybe I can make it. Good. This was nice. This was nice. I like the little melodies. This is very cute. So, oh no, you made no mistakes. The power of your dance is literally killing me. <laughs> I think I just ate another block of them. Okay, so this is the next, next level, the next island, it seems. They say a killer is roaming the city. Yeah, it's probably us. <laughs> Have you seen anyone suspicious? No. I'm in the mood for a sad tune. I hope you don't mind. Oh, this was terrible. Do I need to hold the two? Oh my god, I come. I'm really. I'm really. Not <laughs> getting uh, that when you have to, to hit those two arrows. This was horrific. This was horrific. Let's try again. So this game got hard pretty fast. <laughs> okay, so let's try again. No. I think I'm, I'm spot on, but apparently I'm anything but. This is very hard. This is all, almost uh, on, on the brink of frustrating me. Okay, let's let's try once more. That was neat. No, that wasn't neat. I still the two arrows that aren't uh, that are apart by one. You, you see um, those two arrows, uh, the left arrow and the down arrow. And because I'm watching my cursor keys, of course there's no space in between them, so I just keep hitting out of an automatism of mine is something the left and the right key because of course I need the down key that's in the middle I, I hope you, you it's, it's clear what, what I'm saying but I really will try now okay left and down at the same time okay we'll we'll try this now good Okay, I don't think I can do it any better. So let's see how how terrible we've scored. 80%. Yeah, I'm 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 fine with 80%. So let's let's continue. I hope I don't have to get 100%. You know what I find cute? The little shadow. I mean, really, it's it's the little shadow under my character. It's just a tiny little splat. So, but the other characters don't have any shadows. So that's that's cool. Yumigami has been a peaceful place for generations. Maybe we haven't prayed enough and we deserve this. Oh, this is grim. This is very grim. 
Do you want a fun fact about rabbits? We eat our own feces. It's called corpophagia. The more you know. Never more than once, though. It would be disgusting. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this time I fared much better because the two keys, the two arrows were next to each other. Okay, I think if, if I score more than 70% than I'm happy with it. By the way, what I really like about the music, it sounds like it's coming from a Sega Genesis. It's, it's one of those Yamaha FM chips, right? I like this a lot. Okay, so there we have the guard. You can meet the king without... You can't meet the king. You would have to be the best dancer. Beat every challenge in Megami and I'll let you pass. Did I beat every challenge? Apparently I didn't beat every challenge. Does beating every challenge means 100%ing uh, them? Okay, there, there's another bridge. Is there anyone? No, it's just empty. But it looks like the whole islands just got frosting all over them. Okay, you won't get me that easily. Oh, I was hoping for that. I can't defend myself, you know? I should do the voices again. I can't defend myself, you know? People like you should be banned from Yumigami. Wow, that's, that's harsh. Completely messing this up. Wow. Wow, okay, this is this is too hard. This is too hard for me. How much did I score? 70%? Really that much? Let's try this again. Let's try this again. No. I think this was better, but it felt worse. Really, what's what? 82%. Okay, so let's keep it at that. I don't think I can get any better than this. Yeah, what's what's like I said, what's really throwing me off is because I don't, I'm not playing many of these rhythm games. Is uh, yeah, the placement. Of course, it doesn't match my cursor keys, and this is why I'm I'm always confusing the keys. Okay, so let's try the blue frosting island here again. Is it good enough? Okay, so I have to beat every challenge, and beating means probably uh, finishing up each one by 100%, which I'm probably not able to. Did we talk? Did we fight? Yes, I think we did. The set tune. <laughs> Oh god, what, what am I doing? Am I out of sync? It, I, I have the uh, uh, impression that I'm completely nailing the beats, at least of the single arrows. But apparently <laughs> I'm not good at this. Okay, you know what? Let's let's try this rocking tune there once more, and then I'm, I'm I think I have seen enough, which which means that I'm sorry that I didn't uh, play the whole entirety of your game because I'm not too good at this. I don't think I can progress uh, to the to the king and face the king in the final battle. Okay, the disgusting. <laughs> I think this was pretty neat. This was pretty okay. 92%. Okay. So I leave it at that. Um, the game is very polished and I really like, like the appearance a lot. The overworld music, in my opinion, uh, was getting a little bit... It sounded a little bit random, like there was no real motif to it. But uh, I think this is okay because... I mean, the little tunes for each battle, well, they sound pretty nice and make us make sense. And of course, you can memorize them, and they even make a sense uh, in in terms of in in terms of what uh, buttons you have to push. Yeah, what I didn't like about it was uh, that my it felt that I was spot on, but apparently I wasn't. 
and uh, yeah, the layout of the arrows, but this is probably down to that I'm not experienced with this kind of rhythm games because I've seen the, the, the four arrows. Of course, you can't have them stacked like the cursor keys on a keyboard because then the up and the down arrow would, you, 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 you couldn't separate them in, in their own lanes. So yeah, I think this is just down to my personal experiences with rhythm games, but overall very solid, very polished. I mean, it's the post jam version, it said on the title screen, so I don't know how much there was in the jam version. But either way, it's a lot. It's quite a lot. I mean, you get even an, uh, a drawn intro sequence and it's not just uh, scribbling just to get it done in time. This is really with, with our artistic uh, integrity done. And even the clouds are moving. So this is very nice. I've enjoyed very much playing My Little Monster. At least this is what I would call the game. And the mashup works very well. Um, as far as I can tell, it's just too hard for me. So two thumbs up. Very, very great effort. And on YouTube, I got a comment uh, by Pure and they wrote, Hey Phil, you played my game Fear of the Future last compo. Oh, uh, I recall that one. I think this was with the clocks in the background. If you wanted to check out my new one, it would be much appreciated. Unfortunately, I started running out on time and had to rush to the end, so it lacks a lot of polish. It's fine. I mean, you've probably seen my game. You got to remember though, it was uh, just me working on it and I didn't know it yet, but cutscenes take forever to code. <laughs> Here's the link. Okay, so let's have a look at Fluff Piece. About, you live in a dystopian world run by robots. Whilst avoiding capture, you stumble upon a mysterious portal. It looks like a gateway to a land much more tame and fluffy. Let's paint it red. <laughs> it's even let's paint it red. <laughs> okay, controls, WAD, move, so we won't be using the S key, we can save, oh, the S key, S key, ha! So we're saving uh, using the S key. Left mouse button shoot, R is restart. Probably looking uh, to, to spam the R button again. Software, Game Maker Studio 1.x, Photoshop, Boskia Coil, uh, BFXer, and credit goes to Holden G. Collier, Pure. I hope I didn't uh, mangle up your name. And whoever turned up to the live stream, maybe you? No, it's not balanced very well. Night's uh, direction flickers. Okay, update uh, 115, added the theme song to the fluff world. Update 11, added some SFX, added a theme tune to the dystopian world. Might change, remove, uh, fix a few glitches with the knights, lowered HP, strengthened knights, death overlay. So uh, this is the latest release, but um, let's try the compo entry because I'm looking to rate this thing. Made with Game Maker Studio, fluff piece. And the clouds are already very fluffy and there's a glow. I love the glow. I have a thing for visual effects. It's fucking weird. So let's press enter to play. Seems like trouble's on its way. Time for a bit of dumpster diving. Okay, so shooting, I'm not hearing any audio right now. Maybe this is what's in the, in the competition lacking is the sound effects. I like the jumping and I, <laughs> if you watch closely when I'm jumping, what's happening to the, I'm assuming this is a lit cigarette. And I also like it that uh, the tutorial there is, is pixelated and in the background. So how do I do the dumpster diving? I think this was just a figure of speech then. So let's continue. Oh, there's even, even parallax scrolling, very nice. Well, that wasn't so hard now, was it? I might have spoken too soon. One, two, three, four. Oh, nice effects. I like effects. And even have uh, the robot has his little cracks. There's a lot of more activity today than usual. Uh-oh. Even I can take on that many. Hey, at least these robots conveniently don't have arms. Those are a lot of cutscenes. What is that? Well, I suppose whatever's through there is better than what's down there. Looks like a portal through the fluff world. Let's... Caution. Okay, so let's proceed with caution through the purple portal. Where am I? And who are you? I shall ask you the same. Tell me what you're doing here at once, or I will be forced into combat. Well, now, that's dealt with. 
I'm guessing to get out of this place, I've got to get to that castle. Okay, so maybe can can I jump on the horse? No, it's it doesn't go that well, so... Oh, good. I thought I could jump on the horse, but but it's I, I, I really like it that the horses, that the horses stay alive, because, I mean... I mean, we're, we're, we're just a gory serial killer from a dystopian world with a Punisher t-shirt. Um, we're punishing knights in a fluffy dimension, but at least we're not hurting the horses. So this is very fine. I'm a big fan of horses. I'm a friend of horses. This is the castle there. So let's, let's continue and not take out any horses then. Good, good. I like this. I like this a lot. So we have here some very cute platforming. I like the jumping, how the jumping works. And there's the portal back. Oh, the, it's, now it's only QE Ion. So I think, I think what we've did was just mess up everything. And we even have here, I, what's it, on, off? Okay, so I just hit something and everything exploded. Thanks for playing. Game made in 48 hours by Halden G. Collier. Wow, okay, now I see what you meant with the, with the, uh, that, that it was a little bit frantic towards the end. This was nice with the, with the switching up and down. So yeah, my takeaways on this game is, um, for one thing, I didn't see how the two clashing genres were, were mixed. It was more like two different themes, like the fluffy world and the dystopian world. But I mean, that's fine. I mean, after all, uh, the theme is just there to, to give you some sort of uh, inspiration, just a... Uh, uh, way of nudging your towards an idea if you have any so this is fine with me uh the the jumping worked which is always nice because usually it, it's very floaty the shooting mechanics worked i really like the pixel art and i see what you meant with the the, the cutscenes took a lot of coding you know what maybe you should look into uh, making some kind of scripting language just for yourself for your own uh, game projects just to make it possible that you can crank out cutscenes because apparently your game relies a lot on cutscenes so that you don't have to spend so much time on it. Uh, the mechanics worked, the shooting worked. Um, what I would have liked is some sort of sounds and audio, but maybe this is down to, uh, to the first version, the compo version, so maybe there wasn't any, or my uh, 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 speakers weren't turned up. But apart from that, a very nice, nice appearance, very nice look, a fun gameplay. I mean, it's standard gameplay, but very fun. And I see you had a story this, that would probably need a little bit more of game to develop and unfold. But after all, you've made this alone in 48 hours. So two thumbs up to that and congratulations on finishing yet another Ludum Dare game. And the last game for this episode, because all my recording equipment and lights and everything is running out of power. <laughs> oh, interesting uh, idea for a theme. So um, we're looking at the last game for today uh, that was submitted to me uh, by Spencer N and he didn't say anything, just posted the link to their game. And the game is Speed Shooter. No screenshots, so I don't have any idea what I'm getting myself into. And it says move with WAST, use your mouse to aim, shoot and reload. Shoot your enemy to move your car forward, other enemies are harmless, but shooting them will result in consequences. Collect stars to give your car a super boost, made with Game Maker Studio 1.4. Oh, I've, I've used Game Maker Studio 1.4 extensively, so... Okay, so there's a little screenshot. Uh, okay, so I thought I was the car, but apparently I'm not. Reload and shoot to move your car forward, other enemies are harmless. Okay. So apparently I'm the car. Well, we will find out. Let's take a look at Speed Shooter. And there we go, Speed Shooter. Start help hard mode. <laughs> I like the pulsating title. Uh, let's have a look at help. Use was to move, reload, aim and shoot. Okay, don't shoot other enemies. And it even has some, some sick sound. Okay, so let's hit start. Okay, I can move with was. And I'm the red car apparently. So, okay, there's a race happening. Can't I shoot? Why can't... Okay, apparently I, I just... Okay, good, good. I thought I just uh, couldn't uh, move and shoot at the same time. Looks like I still can't. Am I reloading? Oh, of course, right mouse button reloads, okay. 
and it takes quite a while to reload. Okay, so I really have to to take my time. Are those okay? Those slow me down, probably because they are spiders webs. Okay, so as soon as I hit uh, a, a wrong color, I move that car uh, up pretty much. Okay, a good thing is that I'm not having any health now, because I would have run out of health anyway. Or do I have some kind of health? What's it with this red guy here, the one which looks like he was... Oh, sorry. Very, very unprofessional hitting the microphone. The one enemy that looked like uh, it was covering its eyes. Okay, um, as my feedback uh, in terms of the game design, it would have been nice to, to tell me that uh, 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 when I'm reloading, that I that I first, how I reload, or that I need to reload. Oh, I'm, I'm, prob I'm terrible at this game. Look, look, look at this. I, I didn't manage to... Oh, okay. Somehow, somehow I propelled my car forward a little bit by using up... Okay, so this one is moving my car back. Okay. Okay, so it's it's learning learning by doing. Yeah, a little bit of more guidance. You lose. I'm not yeah, I'm not interested in the hard mode. Okay, so the first thing that I have to do is reload apparently, or did I just click reload and then it started reloading? Maybe have some kind of sound or on-screen display that reads reloading. Because in my opinion it takes a little bit too long. About half half as long as it is right now. But maybe you could have find some upgrades to to uh, to advance okay so oh, okay um yeah I'm, I'm i'm happy or i'm lucky that i don't have to play the hard mode because i suck at the easy mode i, I think i'm probably doing something wrong because it doesn't look like like i'm really helping my car that much okay so when i'm taking damage apparently um my car resets or goes back Okay, so this doesn't have to do much with uh, racing then, right? Uh, so the racing game there that's happening on the side is pretty much just like some kind of progress bar uh, for, for, for how well I am doing. And uh, yeah, um, as, like I said, in, in terms of genre combination, um, it doesn't make much sense. <laughs> Because, yeah, the racing game is just a visualization of your health, essentially. So if you run into enemies, it, it gets slower. And if you shoot enemies, uh, you get points or score. And, yeah. And there's also some kind of competition going on. But uh, what you have here, it works. And I, yeah, like I said, it just took me a while to understand it. And the reloading, in my opinion, just takes a little bit too long. Uh, some music would have been nice, but music is always nice, and oh my god, there's too many enemies. Oh my god, too many enemies, and it's hard to shoot just the red ones. Too hard almost to shoot just the red ones. Okay, so... So I'm not doing too well here. But I want to, I want to win this game. I want to win. Maybe you should reload. Come on, come on, shoot, 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 shoot. Almost, oh damn it, this was the yellow one, almost there. Don't shoot the, this red ones, okay. Uh, yeah, may, maybe have some more sounds when, when you're doing well or when you're not doing well. Uh, I, I really like uh, uh, the, the little smoke effects and the big, big shiny bullets. Um, oh. You win! Okay, good, good. <laughs> I won. Let's have a short look at hard mode. Okay, so uh, what's, what threw me off is when I started, maybe start the player with a fully loaded weapon. Okay, so the hard mode is apparently for, develop for the developer only, because uh, uh, I'm, already, I'm, I'm already losing. So do you probably need to, to get more points in a shorter amount of time, or is the penalty even harder? Yeah, the reloading, really, I, I've, I don't like the reloading that much because you just have to wait. It's nothing you can do, just, just waiting and seeing how, how things develop for you. Maybe have some kind of health bars for, for the enemies. Maybe have some also some kind of items like pickups to increase the size of your magazine 
or to decrease, please decrease the, uh, the, the time it takes for you to, to load. Uh, I like the, this little progress uh, thingy of, of the four, uh, of this four dots, but uh, a progress bar or something of, or, or some kind of circle that, that turns full, anything uh, that I know how, how long it exactly takes for my weapon to be reloaded. On the other hand, maybe have some kind of health system. Right now, as I said, everything is just represented uh, by these, by the car race that's going on there on the side. Okay, I don't think I'm, I'm going to make it. So let's see how... Okay, this is really unforgiving. If I just wait a, a little bit too long, my, my progress gets reset. Okay, uh, congratulations for making a game, for finishing. Uh, uh, I think it's, it's a little bit rough around the edges and there could be done a little bit more to, to make it more interesting. But on the other hand, I know how tight the time frame is. And I mean, maybe it takes just too long to find the right idea. So, but if you want to keep working on it, I would improve a little bit on the mechanics because like I said, the racing itself has not, uh, what I'm doing to do, what I'm doing, I mean, it's just shooting has nothing to do with the racing apart from just moving some kind of progress bar up, which happens to be shaped like a car. Maybe think along those lines, but uh, it has sound. It has, from what I can see, no bugs and uh, uh, just needs a little bit of more polishing. All right, thank you very much. I lose. And that's it from me for part two. I, I hope I got uh, all of the games done that were submitted to me, which probably results in a very lengthy uh, Let's Play video, but, but that's fine. I mean, it was fun and I hope I didn't, uh, uh, I wasn't too nasty on your games. But either way, yeah, it was fun for me and thank you for submitting. And I think there will be still some more games that I'm going to look at for part three of this series. And yeah, until then, thank you for watching and see you next time. <music>